Hey guys, um, today an update video about the AI functions because we added an additional update here. There were some requests on how to proceed when inside of an AI function we stop the AI agent and then how to trigger a different flow. Firstly, you would need to have some kind of trigger like a custom field value that you change or a tag that you add, right? And then you can go towards automations triggers to then start a new flow. We simplified this process, so that is no longer needed. If we're going to take a look inside of a workflow that I have assigned as a uh, AI function workflow, for example, this one. Here you can see that inside the workflow, I'm sending a message that the ticket has been created, and then I'm going to stop the AI agent, right? And then from here, how can I proceed to send the user towards a different flow? So instead of pausing the human automation, live agent notification, bot user API, and so on, what if I want to, meanwhile, send the user to a different kind of flow? Again, normally you would need to do so by and tag trigger or custom field trigger, move to boards trigger and so on. Now, if we're going to take a look inside of the main AI agent flow. So let's assume that this is the AI agent flow and we are going to connect the AI agent here under the AI agent section. And let's say I'm going to set my customer support as such. If I take a look now, you can see that besides the if request field and hand off agent features, we now have an additional uh, function, the AI function. And that means that if we're going to select this, you can see if AI agent stopped after a function has been called. So inside the workflow of the connected function, you can now continue towards the next step. So let's say I'm going to use this ticket creation, which I just showed you. Now I can say, okay, what will be the next step? Now I can send the user uh, to a completely different flow or do any kind of flow logic. So basically this additional step, as you can see here, you can also use multiple AI functions to send the user to different kinds of sections inside of your chatbot. So you are not bound by the automation triggers to get users outside of a function and then back into other parts and other sections of your chatbot. So this should simplify the process for you. And you can add again, multiple uh, AI functions where you stop the AI agent inside the AI function itself. And then you want to continue the flow by going towards a go to node or just continue directly from here. We hope this update helps you in simplifying the process. And if you have any questions, do let us know.